You guys want the T of foot. There's a new day that will come again tomorrow. There's a new day to wash away the pain. Sorrow and the old ways get washed out by the rain. Darling, you've got to keep holding on through the night. Cause I promise you. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Jenna and it is just a, it could be a dreary morning because of the fog, but I'm just being positive because the sun is trying to shine despite all of the fog. Savannah is now at school and I randomly got the urge to take down our Christmas lights. Yeah, like the ones that are on the bushes. And then there's one strand of lights that I cannot reach. I can't show you guys because it's like my numbers on there. And yeah, it's a struggle. It was very hard trying to figure out how to get that to go and do that. Yeah, and Miss Navy and I helped Savannah get on the bus because she was not having it this morning. Maverick is still sleeping. I have a Zoom meeting at 9 a.m. Uh, I'm not going to say anything else, but I have a Zoom meeting at 9. My mother-in-law is coming over to help with the kids during that meeting because it is an important meeting and I want to like have full focus without the kids' chaos in the background. I will be waking up Maverick shortly. I just let the dogs out because I need to let them out and wipe their paws off and put them in the office with me before my mother-in-law gets here because they're just so crazy and wild and I don't want them jumping on her knocking over knocking the kids over like they just get really excited with guests and company and stuff so that's usually why I like I'll put them in the office or something and you know you've seen the office it's cleared out and big now uh but I have to figure out where I'm going to do the zoom call I can't decide I might do it in the office just so the dogs are like chill because I'm in there with them we're gonna see though we're gonna see uh I need a chug some more coffee and I look a mess because my hair does not do well when it's wet and more like muggy outside it's not muggy because it's cold but whenever there's moisture in the air like if my hair's straight which it's like kind of straight um it curls and frizzes but when it's curly it straightens and, fr and frizzes you know does that make sense I don't think it does my arm is getting tired so I'm gonna let you guys go so I can wipe the dogs off and go from there oh my gosh my acne you guys like it's drying up so it's still red but like there's no longer anything there I just have to keep lotion on my skin to try to get it to heal before Nikki's birthday party Well, my mother-in-law left and I was so thankful she came over so I could get that Zoom done. Navy is napping, Maverick is currently playing. I'm finishing up some work, my video just went live and I have some laundry I need to do and lunch and such. However, tonight I'm really excited. Um, so I know that this can be controversial, um, can be. But I'm all about self-love and self-care and doing whatever works best for you, doing what you what makes you happy. And basically, I have been, and I think I've mentioned this a couple of times on my channel, but I, uh, I get Botox, and so I've gotten it twice already. Um, like, it's, you know, separated months apart. I think it's four months apart, three, four months apart. And I don't get a lot, but I will be getting that tonight because one of my mom's friends is having a party. I was supposed to have my own Botox party, but I was on vacation when my mom was asking me about it and I just couldn't think and do that at the same time. Like there's just a lot going on. So I'm getting Botox tonight. 
and I do it for me, which of course makes sense that I do it for, <laughs> for myself, uh, but I get it mostly right here because you see these lines right here? I just, I know it's all a part of, about aging, but I just, I don't like that. I'm insecure about this right here, and so that's what I'm doing. Self-love, self-care. Um, my forehead is not bad at all. Like, the Botox has stayed really well in my forehead. Not that I've gotten a lot. Um, maybe some here. But I pretty much just get it right here in my 11s, and that's it. And I like it. I enjoy it. It makes me happy. It is self-care, self-love. And you just got to do what makes you happy, honestly. Like, what I've learned in being a mom the last five years is you really do need to take care of yourself and take time for yourself and make yourself a priority because I had it all wrong when I first became a mom and I was like okay you know everything is going to be for her like I'm not going to get my hair done anymore I'm going to do this like all these different things and I was like you know what? I'm going to have more kids I don't need to take my health seriously that's the complete opposite I need to take my health seriously in order to be the best version of myself for my kids and in order to live a healthy life to be there for my kids, to do everything that I want to do for them and with them. So with that being said, you need to take care of yourself and do what makes you physically and mentally happy because that's just what you need to do. And so, you know, me losing weight help me physically and mentally but it also help my kids because I can keep up with them and I want to do more activities I want to play with them I can go up and down my steps without losing my breath and it's just good to be healthy for your kids and show them the healthy lifestyle and self-care and self-love so then you know they can learn to do that for themselves you know what I mean not that I'm telling my kids like hey I'm gonna go get Botox and needles in my face because they're little. They don't understand that and it's for me. So long story short, that's what I'm doing for myself tonight. I am excited. I only get it done, you know, once every so often. So I'm really pumped to be doing that. But that's later on tonight because my mom is actually going to pick me up when she gets off from work. Just works out easier that way because we can just go together then. So that's really easy. But I'm just now procrastinating and stalling from... Uh, from folding laundry because I feel like that's all I do on my channel. I don't think I'm gonna record it because I feel like you guys are sick of me folding laundry because it's literally me just catching up on laundry 24 seven. That's what I feel like my life is. Me catching up on laundry. It takes a while to catch up from vacation. Uh, but I did actually message to confirm uh, Navy's birthday cakes because I am not getting them from Sam's Club. I'm getting them from somewhere else just because it's a first birthday. So I try to do something a little bit different, a little bit more special. And I wanted like a specific design. And so I confirmed that. Zach has to pick that up on Saturday morning. I got that confirmed and uh i have something like every day i'm just <laughs> just very busy i have a lot going on right now you guys know that i'm very careful like i i share a lot with you but i don't share too much like there's just a lot like a whole other side of things that i don't because of privacy and safety like you just you have to when you're on social media you have to walk that line and you have to protect yourself your family your kids like you have to know what is the right line to walk because I feel like I've talked about this all the time, but you know, I just, sometimes I do feel bad because I'm like, okay, I'm not sharing all of this stuff with you guys, but then I don't feel bad because it's personal things that I'm not sharing with the world. Like it doesn't need to be shared if you understand what I'm saying. Like it's just something, there's just some things that don't need to be on the internet or be said. And I don't want to cross that line or do that I like to keep you know things just for us just privacy things just for us and yeah hopefully that made sense and it wasn't like I don't know too crazy or anything <laughs> a cargo you will carry me i just hope you know my depth even though it makes no sense sometimes i'm broken too much of emotion sometimes i'm delighted you want to pick a fight with
I just got done working out and I'm letting the dogs out and as you see I'm outside so it was kind of cold windy and rainy this morning and now it's so nice and sunny and like a perfect little breeze like it is just so nice Ohio weather is crazy like it's bipolar um so you guys want the tea of what's going on lately you guys know savannah has been taking horseback riding lessons and she was going weekly and then um the place where we were going they canceled um i'd say probably once a month and then it got to a lot so therefore savannah hasn't been there since early january and i think she's only taken one lesson for this year maybe two no she's taken two horseback riding lessons in 2023 and that is it so she was gonna have horseback riding lessons they text me and canceled and right after they sent the text that they canceled they said hey we're gonna have to switch trainers she's doing really well and i was like okay and they said the new trainer will contact you so the trainer contacted me like the week of us leaving for vacation. I said, hey, we're going on vacation for the next two weeks. Like, I'll get back. Can I get back to you when we come back? And she said, of course, I understand. Have a great vacation. So we get back from vacation. I message her and we're planning like a time when Savannah can go back to lessons. I'm sorry if it's super windy and you hear that. And she's like, well, I'm not available during the week. We're going to only have to do the weekends. So here's my issue. They want to do Saturday or Sunday mornings. And it's gonna be hard when summertime comes with camping because we go camping on the weekends. And also with like family events and birthdays that, you know, just hanging out and doing stuff. And so I like it during the week because it's just, it works out better that way. Anyways, I agreed to it. I said, okay, Sunday morning, that sounds great, 10.30. Sunday morning comes, I wake up and I have a text message and she canceled lessons. So Savannah never got to go. And she's like, sorry, gonna have to cancel. And I was just so annoyed at this point because we have been canceled on so many times. Granted, I'd rather be canceled on than drive 45 minutes and then be there and nothing. But it's just very frustrating. So I'm currently looking for a new place for her to do horseback riding lessons. I really liked that place. It's a shame, like the people were really nice, but I just don't like the fact that we're not kept in the loop. Like, why did we have to switch trainers? Why are we being canceled on all the time? Like, I understand you know, if there's an explanation or this, I mean, I guess they don't know, they don't owe an explanation, but it's just very frustrating explaining to a five-year-old who's very excited to go to horseback riding lessons that like, hey, horseback riding lessons are canceled, you know, like I get her all prepared, I quiz her, we go over everything so she can like be prepared and do well at her lesson and then we get a text and it's canceled. So it's been really hard and I feel bad for her and she does want to continue and riding lessons, she loves it and so I want to pursue that because she really enjoys it but it's just very hard when we get canceled on a lot and so I'm looking for a new place I don't know what I'm gonna do I'm gonna see what suggestions and stuff I get or what I can find and I'll decide tomorrow um, because I just don't know what I want to do it's just very hard the inconsistency that's what I don't like like I like a routine I like a schedule I like a consistency I like this is when we're gonna do it and instead of being canceled on all the time you know what I mean like it's just very hard doing that and I want her to learn too it's hard because she's so young and when you have it once every month basically it's hard for you to remember all these things and it feels like you're starting back at zero with learning how to do everything and be comfortable around the horse and stuff it's just very hard so I just really needed to vent and I guess there's some tea for you there because uh, I know I've had a couple of questions people ask me like how riding lessons are going if she still goes to them because I haven't posted it on my Instagram stories or anything and yes I would love her to still go she hasn't gone in over a month and it's way over it's been way over a month it's been maybe like five or six weeks honestly maybe i don't know i can't math right but it's been since early january since she's gone and i just i feel so bad for her because she loves it and i just need to get her back in it and find a place that is consistent i guess and ah yeah that's my rant for the day currently waiting for my mom to pick me up so then I can go and get Botox. We will see if I get any clips. If I do, it's going to be on my phone. Um, we will see, but I'm very excited. Navy girl, what are you doing? Say hi. Say hi. Oh, here comes Junior. He's jealous. Junior, you want to be in the video?
Oh my gosh. Hi. But I'm about ready to go. I'm so excited to get this Botox for right here, guys. Right here. It's all about self-care, self-love. Do what you got to do that makes you happy. Okay, I just got home from getting Botox. You can see it's like a little bit. So I didn't get as much this time because I didn't need it. Um, I only got 10 units this time instead of I think I got like... 20 last time so I got like one here one here and then I got eight here because this is like my problem spot so you have to like keep doing this for like a day or so because you can see those two lines that's why I get it however I did stop at Hobby Lobby because I thought I need something for Navy's party so this is gonna be a quick Hobby Lobby haul and then I'm gonna end this video so here's what I got at Hobby Lobby obviously I got this basket bin because always need it for organization and storage I got these cute little toys. This is going to be a summer toy or bath toy for a Navy. I thought this was cute. It was on sale. Why not? Um, I got this balloon for future purposes. I got the kids each a cup. Well, Navy, not Navy. Sorry. I got Savannah and Maverick cups. I got this for Savannah with the princesses. You know, she loves her Disney princesses. And I got this one for Maverick. He needs a new cup really bad. And of course, Coco Melon, you know, it's so cute. Had to. They were on sale. And I spent $30 at Hobby Lobby. However, that is going to be the end of today's video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this. If you did, please be sure to give it a huge thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys want to see more. And I hope to see you guys in my next video. Bye. I just hope you won't get hurt. I just hope you'll be